Hey guys. So I know the lighting's horrible, but my husband and I are on our way to Marietta, Ohio to the Lafayette Hotel, the historic Lafayette Hotel, for a murder mystery dinner theater experience. I'm super excited and I can't wait to take you guys along with us. Okay, so here we are in Marietta. I don't know if you can tell, but Marietta is a river town. We're all river towns. Just over here is the Lafayette where we're going tonight. what to expect, but I'm really, really, really excited. I want to thank everyone for coming to my halloween -y party. All my decorations here are mine. I got them at yard sales around town, so if they smell like cat pee, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, anyway, so, um, I came to Marietta quite a few years ago, and I came here because of the spirits. <laughs> See? Spirits are alive and, and they're all they're all over this Lafayette Hotel, let me tell you. So if you're staying here tonight, you be careful if you're on that third floor. I, 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 I have my divining rods and let me tell you, they were going crazy up on the third floor. So anyway, anyway, but... Okay, I, I don't know what to Okay, well, anyway. Um, oh, oh, that's right, that's right, I'm talking, not you. Anyway, anyway, so I came to Marietta because I followed um, my, my, my mentor, um, Madame Paprika. She was here in Marietta and she's a, a medium and I bought both of her books. They were bestsellers because I, I bought them. <laughs> and I came here to have her autograph them, and she did, and she did a couple of seance things, and, and I liked it so much that I became a medium myself. So if there are some spirits in here, I will know, especially with my divining rods. But anyway, so I- Why don't you get off this stage before I crush it with my wallet? <laughs> I could offer you $20 million right now, and it wouldn't be a dent. Being $4 million is generous offer. Give me your password, then I wire money to you. That was rude. Exactly. Lily Bell agrees with me. That was rude. You should apologize. Uh, not enough for you. So I apologize again for Mr. Rich and his lovely wife who goes around and just snips at people all the time. It, you are a fraud. You are a fraud. That is rude. You are rude. You are the rudest person I've ever met. Get him away from me. Get him out. I want him out. Okay. Now, 
I'm sorry, sir, but you're gonna. I guess you're going anyway. I'm going to go to the bar. At least there, I'm going to break I'm so. I'm so. I'm so. Okay, you can go then, Mr. Knock It Off, because you're just going to knock it off. I am so sorry. What, what did he say? <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, everybody. Please continue eating and enjoying this, this Halloween party. I'm sweating again. What is going on? I don't. I don't. Okay, guys, there's been a murder. We're about to go see what happened. It's a fake. That it's not real. Oh my goodness. So, this is our super swanky room. It's like a little bar area. And a nice little seating area. Antique desk. And then armoire. Bougie bed. So we just finished up with the murder mystery theater and it was fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it was a lot of fun. My brother was a total hoot. I'm hoping to insert some pictures of him in this, but <laughs> so yeah, that was my night. That was my fun Halloween activity for the week and I hope you guys enjoy it. Talk to you later.